Uno, dos, one, two, tres, cuatro. It's the universe's favorite sports quiz. Sports or consequences. Brought to you by Bud Light. Everything else is just alike. Now, here he is, your congenial host, Gary Burbank. Thank you and welcome to Sports Consequences. Look at this studio. Ooh, good-looking food in the studio. Well, I mean, um, I mean, I won't say bad, but I mean bad, like good. Of course, look here. We've got uh, some uh, Chester's Pizza. Yeah, right, because sure. that's our brain food. We can hardly, hardly think without it on Friday. And an added bonus again. Cajun Joe got a toy grab. Now I got some real hot, good chicken. Andy done love this stuff over here. And he just kind of inhaled that hot uh, drumstick you just put in your mouth, mm-hmm. didn't he? It's, it's gone. Thank you to Cajun Joe's uh, coming in with some good stuff, too. And let's see here, Doctor. We do have a jackpot, do we not? Yes, we do. How much is in that jackpot today? $40,057.92. How about that? Today I feel like, Doc, it's going to be the big day someone is finally going to win. Could be. I'm certainly sure of it. I think it's going to happen. Okay. Well, let's see. What do we do? What to do? What? How about we do this from Budweiser, and we come right back and nail you on the questions. <laughs> She was graduating this year. Two years old last week, didn't that? This is our first contestant on Sports Consequences. It is John. Hello, John, and welcome to this. Gary, how are you doing today? Doing fine, John. How are you? I'm down. Okay. And where do you work? You're a major company, John. I have my own business. Okay, that's so a major corporation, probably, right? Uh, that's oh, right. Say yes, okay, it's fine. John, we'd like to get a little plug in for your major corporation. Uh, the design group. Uh, good, a design. When I need designs, Doc, you need designs? No, not, not today. But when Doc needs some, he's calling you up, John. Okay. Okay, let's see if you can lay into us here. All right. Uh, Artie Leyendijk won last year's Indy 500, and Emerson Fittipaldi won the year before. Now, the one thing they have in common is they are both foreign-born drivers. Mm-hmm. Other, other uh, than what I just mentioned, when was the last time foreign-born drivers won the Indy 500? Who are those drivers? Okay, uh, you gotta go back. You gotta go back. You gotta go back into the mid sixties. Mid sixties. Okay. Go ahead, Wayne. I'm thinking. Graham no. Hill was one. Graham Hill was one. Says Wayne. You got the yes, other one. That is right. Can you do the other one? The uh, Gra- money was killed on the Formula One circuit. Terry Thomas. No. Told all his year. Had a big space when you see there, right? It wasn't him. He wasn't even draw that guy. He was in that movie with all them bumps and blondes and stuff all the time. Oh yes, that's who he was. Yes, he was. Yes. That was Burt Reynolds. Yes. Oh, he was supposed Terry to come to Thomas did he drive a uh, 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 Overland Burl. Jeep. And remember that? It's a mad, mad, right. mad, it's mad, a mad, mad world. world. Yeah. Yeah. And the, right. wheel, the wheel fell yeah. off That's and all that stuff. Yeah. And he remembers it he exactly. Had Apple Merman beating him over the head with a purse. <laughs> <laughs> was great. And he remembers that. Who's the other guy? We've been stalling enough, guys. I mean, if you know, well, who do you think, uh, say? Jimmy Clark. Uh, that's right. Yeah. 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 We don't, we don't, we don't mess around. Hey. We have to kind of hey. him and haul hey. a little bit to get it straight in our minds here, okay? But you know, I didn't know, John, that Seg was going to be here. I thought you may have a free trip today, but Seg came walking in sort of like the Calvary at the last moment there. But thanks for calling, John. All right. Bah. And uh, remember John for design. I'm not sure the name of the company. Design group. Design group. I mean, one guy be a design group. Uh, so well, I guess. He's a big guy. Okay. <laughs> you see. Yeah, how you doing? Out hammer. Okay. Go ahead, let off. Okay. Who was the last Reds pitcher to strike out four batters in one inning? 
It, it, occurred, uh, it's, it, it happened occurred last year. Okay, tell us first of all, Andy or Seg or Chris, how it happens. How can a person, Chris, strike out four people in one inning? Well, you get the pass ball in the third strike, and the guy moves on. And first base? Yeah, drop strike third strike, and the guy reaches first out. base. You yeah. could, in fact, uh, strike out more than that, but you could strike out as many as that. Yeah. Uh, Joe Nuttensall did it one year. He did it. He did it. Uh, Tuesday when it was raining at the stadium, I was there underneath the stadium. He struck out four guys in a row during batting practice when it was raining. They couldn't get out, so he struck out four guys. That was the last in time. Batting practice, Joe Nuxall. Yeah. Joe Nuxall. And one of the answer. four was Mark Stowe. But there's another well, answer, too, though. Wade. Mario Soto Wade, huh? did it back yeah. in the mid no, Wade, Wayne's an umpire. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Wait, Wayne, you're going to umpire Dream Week next year, aren't you? Three, yes, yeah. Sir. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> low. <laughs> Wayne can do it. I bet you could do it. Okay, what do you think? Uh, the name of the pitcher is... I think Wayne's I World. Wayne's World. <laughs> <laughs> name of the pitcher. Who are, you, who are you saying, uh, Wayne? Mario Soto. Mario Soto. No. no. This happened last year. This guy is no longer pitching in the continental U.S. In fact, he's no longer pitching in the North American area. No. Was he right. to get it over with. Second guy named Bird, right? Big Bird. Uh, Big Bird is, is big, his nickname. Yeah, he's right? now pitching in Tim J- Bur- Japan. Tim Burtzis. You got it. Dave. Dave. We, we don't, don't. We don't. don't. We don't, don't mess around. around. Hey. Wait a minute. I forgot. Wait, hold on. I forgot. Let's see. Where is it? Uh, another 25 cents to the Max for Malt uh, campaign uh, contribution. Yeah. Okay. This is our next contestant. It's Chris. Hello, Chris. Welcome to Sports of Consequences. Hello. Hello. Chris. Yes. We're ready for you. Try us, Chris. <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. Who, what hitter, holds the record for most strikeouts during a World Series? Well, we just found something. What is that? Man? What is that? Chicken well, joint. Anybody can name this piece of the chicken out there. That is a without actually seeing. That's this. a chicken with a long that's wing Wilson. right here. No, that's, that is that's not Willie Wilson. Wilson. That's, that's one of them Cajun chicken like that. Like Willie Wilson. That's a long. It's the biggest. That's a turkey. Head. <laughs> Wayne's World. Wayne's World. Okay, what are we saying here? Guerrero. Uh, World Series hitter with the most strikeouts. Is that what you're saying? Yes. In in, in a six game six series. game series six game series. Yes. Uh, Reggie Jackson. No. Not Reggie Jackson. Mickey Mantle. No. Not Mickey Mantle. Wayne's got it. Wayne's got it. Wayne's Wayne World. World. Wayne's Wayne. World. Wayne, what do you say? Willie Wilson. Willie Wilson, he says. You guys don't mess hey! around. Hey! We don't. We don't. We don't mess around. Hey. Wayne's reading that out of a book. <laughs> Get Wayne some more food over here, guys. Gotta come up every He's day, just, Wayne. Say, take care of Wayne over here. He's, I, I, he's I, I, only his play. He needs some more food. He's answering all the questions yeah, today. Andy's kind of taking a break. Just kind of breaking into the chicken over there, too. Mm. This is uh, Jay Hodge. Well, Hiya, Jay Hodge. Well, Welcome to Sports or Consequences. Hi, Gary. How's Mom and Oh, they're okay. And how's Mom and Neil in your house? They be okay. Wonderful. Go ahead, Jay Hodge. Uh, who is the only player to get over 1,000 RBIs during the decade of the 70s? The only player to get over 1,000 RBIs decade of the 70s. That's something to think about. Was Hold the ball, we'll come League? right back. Is he an American Leaguer? Uh, 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 Doc, can you plunk it again? Is he an American Leaguer? No. Not an American Leaguer. Let me try one more. Is he the National Leaguer? Yes, Gary, he plays for the Real League. Doggone it. Hold on, okay, we'll come right back. This News Radio update brought to you by the YMCA. The YMCA is on sale through May 26th. Save 10% on new memberships at all 20 branches. I'm Brian Combs coming up at our news at 4.30 this Memorial Day. People in Price Hill will be remembering a 7-year-old boy who was killed this morning while he was walking to school. Celebrating a homecoming in Bond Hill as members of a postal unit on duty in the Gulf get back in the tri-state and school test scores in cincinnati look a little better but they still don't rank with the state average details in nine minutes on news radio 700 wlw we got an accident with injuries green road at hopper hill an accident north 471 north of 275 i'm at the stearns and foster split right now no complaints here but going north on 75 is slow in through sharon road to 275 not worse than your average every other day though it's you don't blame any of that on the holiday you will have a bit of a hard swallow on and off 75 south near Cross County between the lateral and 74 and from Ezra Charles crossing the river through the cut of the hill also on Fort Washington Way westbound uh, aiming at the Brent Spence and suspension bridges in southbound 71 headed toward 471 south. Uh, it's an accident on 71 between uh, Kings Island and Fields Zertle that has the right lane blocked and has kind of a clog drain there. John Phillips, 700 WLW Ameritech Mobile Helicopter Traffic. In 1962, Bob Williams opened his new Ford dealership in the little town of Montgomery. Just a poor, hard-working common man with a vision to take over the world. 
Over the years, Bob Williams Ford has grown into one of the leading Ford dealerships in the tri-state. Why? Because Bob Williams knows beauty may be only skin deep, but ugly goes clean to the bone. Bob Williams sells good-looking Ford cars, trucks, and vans at the lowest possible prices. During Bob Williams' 29th anniversary sale, select from a large inventory of new Ford Ranger trucks. Choose 7.9% annual percentage rate financing or up to $1,000 cash back. Right now, you can drive home in a brand-new Ford Escort for as little as 4.9% annual percentage rate financing or get $750 cash back on selected escort models. Escort models? Don't tell me Bob Williams is in the dating business, too. Don't you buy no ugly car. Don't you buy no ugly truck. And don't you hire no ugly escort model. Drive a good-looking Williams Sport at better-looking 29th anniversary sale prices now at Bob Williams Sport at Montgomery Road in Cross County in Montgomery. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Hey, what's all this fuss about? We're not on a boat, which means we're certainly not sinking. What's it all about? Well, you know me. I always go overboard for a big sale. And this is the week for Swallow's Memorial Event. Just take a look at this. Wow, a Kodak Star 435 camera with flip-up flash, only $28.95. Or Kodak's new star camera, the 735, with automatic film advance and focus-free 35-millimeter lens, just $48.95. Or save 10 to 50% on a special buyout of Advent Maestro speakers. What a deal. Only $169.95. Here's what we should both have, a GE mobile phone. Ours absolutely free with Ameritech service while supplies last. All we pay for is the installation. Ooh, here's what I want, a Panasonic VHS camcorder. Slimline design, lightweight, 8 to 1 zoo. You can tape all the graduations, weddings, birthday parties. Mayday, parties. mayday, mayday. Don't miss it. Swollen's Memorial Week event going on now. All Swollen stores except Spring Grove and Wooster Pike open Memorial Day from 10 till 4. You'll find it at we don't, we don't, we don't mess around. Hey! Who was that? I can't remember who that was. It's Shannon Castle Singers. They came in one day. I remember. Yeah, they did. Yeah. This, again, is uh, uh, Jay Hodge. And a good question. The uh, hitter with over 1,000 RBIs, the only one in the decade of the 70s. We're all thinking about this real hard. Did and he play his entire career for one team? Yes, he did. Oh, oh, we don't wow. Of course, he'll be Johnny Bench. Johnny Bench. Yeah, Johnny Bench. You don't mess around. We don't mess around. Wayne's world. Wayne's world. I saved you, too, boy. I sucked you guys in. I knew that all the time. You didn't know that. He was going to say Mike Schmidt. Way to save him, Wayne. That's what you thought. Yeah, I was going to say. Wayne, you saved Andy's life. He's going to look real silly. I set him up. <laughs> this like Adam Oates. Yeah, right. <laughs> Adam Oates. <laughs> with Brent Hall. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Scott. Yeah. Don't you send me and told us about what's going on when you question. Okay. That was the dumbest sound I've ever heard in my life. It sounded like a, a race car or something, right? Yeah. That's not it. Go ahead, Scott, okay. or you get blown up. <laughs> okay. Name the tennis player who has the most French Open titles since 1927. You would know somebody asking a tennis question to make a sissy sound effect like that. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, tennis player with the most uh, French Open titles since 1927. Go ahead, Wayne. Tell, tell Andy who it is. Uh, Save you on board. How about Bobby Riggs? Yeah, how about Bobby Riggs? So, <laughs> just men's, <clears throat> men's or women's? Yeah, men's or women's. Men. Oh, then I, I thought it was. I thought it might be Brigitte Bardot, but that's Brigitte French Bardot. exposure type. Yeah. French Open. What's French Open. Yeah. Sorry. French Open. We know who French it is. Open. We know who it is. It is. Uh, say, it, say it. Chris, you know who it is. Say it. It's got to be uh, Bjorn Borg. That's it. Hey, we don't, we don't, we don't mess that's around. That's our man from Wimbledon. Woo. Yes, sir. That's it. You covered Wimbledon, didn't you? Right. That's right. Yes. And got You're a great ready. review, got a great review in USA Today about that, didn't you? Uh, yeah, they, they wrote real nice things. Like, who is this guy? You know? <laughs> he doesn't read a paper. They thought he was good. English. They thought she was English. Did well, you talk. Yeah, but in well, I am. By the time good. you get out of there for three weeks, you talk kind of like English. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I still retain this accent sometimes. And I'm in Canada one time, lady's cutting my hair. And she said, pardon me, sir. Here you speak. I'm from England, if I'm not mistaken. You are, too. So, hey, old lady, I'm from Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that somewhere near Birmingham? <laughs> yes, it is. It's just, just northeast. <laughs> yes, sir. Northwest. Uh. Uh, up on I-65. Yeah. yeah. Bring back the souvenirs for the <laughs> here. Yeah. This is at random, I think. And hello, who is this at random? This is Columbus Tom, Gary. Columbus Tom, we just can't wait to hear your question. All righty. I know it's going to be a uh, Last year, please name a player that had more home runs than walks. 
had more home runs. And that he, he did have the uh, the appropriate number at bat. Okay, hold the phone. We're going to make this a Jeopardy question. Had appropriate number of bats. Had more home runs than walks. We had this yesterday. We had this yesterday. I got then, it right. Then this is a good time to see if somebody was listening. Hello, who's this? This is John. John, tell him who it is. Well, what did Andy say yesterday? What did you say yesterday, Andy? Weren't you listening yesterday? Were you listening yesterday? Yeah. Well, he was listening, so you can't blow him up. He just forgot. I Short term memory lying. loss. I really think he's lying. Okay, well, let's I was a... in a bar when I was hearing. He was in a bar with your grandfather, right? Right. Yeah, okay, he was here. Uh, give him an answer, Andy. Huh? Andy doesn't no, remember what he said. No. <laughs> he doesn't remember. Back, back I'm sorry. Out of chicken, Andy won't help you. Never mind. Another. Andy doesn't eat chicken. He's not talking to anybody. <laughs> Hello, who's this? Howdy. Who, do you, who is it? Uh, Andy Van Hayes. Andy Van Hayes. Andy Van Hayes. <laughs> who's Andy Van Hayes? <laughs> I think he was a backup singer for Willie Nelson. Like. <laughs> right. Of course, right. what Andy Van, Van Halen. Van Andy, Halen. Andy Van Halen. Nah, Baba Nah. Nah, Baba Nah. Good job. What? Hello, who's this? This is Steve. Steve, go and tell him who it was. Who is Shawan Dunstan? Shawan Dunstan. <laughs> was it Shawan Dunstan? He don't mess around. Hey, he don't. He don't. He don't, he don't mess around. Hey. He was listening yesterday. He gets double prizes, Doc, because he was listening yesterday. Okay, and, and you weren't evidently because you asked the same question, so you know what that means. Five, yeah. four, three, two, one. If you asked the same question and answered, uh, of course, the day before, then you are blown up. Sure, sure. we got time for one more, yeah, Doc. That'd be a real quickie here. It uh, has to be a fast question, no multiple answers. Hello, who's this? Oh, uh, this is Bob Patterson from Mount Vernon, Ohio. Oh, it took too long, Bob. <laughs> you know, if he'd, he'd only let the place he was from, he would have been on the air okay. Let's move on, Doc, and say, hello, who's this? One name, please. Oh, he hung up. Hello, who's this? Who's this? Your mama. <laughs> Mama sent you a little present there. <laughs> Hello, are you there? Yeah, this is Pete. Okay, Pete, try us. Seventeen heavyweight champions have lost the title in their first defense. One man beat three of them. Who was he? One man beat three of them. Jersey Joe Walcott. No. No. Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano. No. Wait a minute. See, now you got to think about 17 heavyweight champions. It's got to be these guys that were WBC and IBF. Uh -huh. and Muhammad Ali. Great. No. Yeah, but, but the problem is we don't take any of those after 1965 because, and I'm sure you agree if you're a boxing fan, there have really been no champions since 1965 and 68 because of all this WBC crap. Think of, and think of the most, think of the most logical choice. I, I would Ali. have to say Ali. No, well, I mean after him. After, Joe after Ali, Joe Frazier, uh, George Foreman, uh, uh, Mohammed Kwawi. <laughs> you love that name, His don't you? His nickname is Iron. Tony Tubbs. Iron Mike TNT. Tyson, I guess. You got it. Hey, hey. We don't, we don't, we don't mess around, hey. Okay, but on the other hand, we have to send a tracer down the line because a boxing question after 1965 does not work as far as boxing goes. Doc, you've been simply marvelous by standing there and, and, and not making your fingers go around and having to hurry up. <laughs> we do have to talk about some prizes, Doc. What do we have for our winners? These prizes picked especially for them. What? I can't believe the sports consequences rules and regulations. Ooh. My sports consequences mug oh, from Andy. Mr. Marks in Delhi. Oh. Our Chester's Pizza. Ooh. And a Bud Light polo shirt. The oh. official shirt of sports oh. consequences. How do you feel? <laughs> He's pretty excited, by golly. And uh, that's all we got, huh? <laughs> so we must be off here, huh? You've just been abused by sports or consequences. Brought to you by Not Jersey, but uh, everything else is had just a lie. Some of our contestants received lovely but it parts. Took too long to get everything out. By the way, the secrets are worth over seventeen thousand, forty thousand dollars, forty forty dollars. Was this you putting on your dog's invisible fence collar and running around the house? Going out down the fence and getting a slight correction. This is 700 WLW Cincinnati. Oh, that's smart. 700 WLW News.